building was built in the early 1940s as a pasteurizing dairy for the Spears family. Local farmers brought their milk here, uh, sold it to the Spears, they bottled it, and then delivered it from here. The Old Spears Dairy in Orange, a piece of local history. Owner David Claybar has milked it for all its nostalgia. He's covered the walls in black and white photos from the Historical Society and displays mid-century milk bottles. And while the dairy delivery business may have come and gone, this sturdy brick and tile building is still feeding folks in town. Kelsey, table three. We serve everything from hamburgers and chicken fried steaks. We do a lot of fresh seafood, salads, um, grilled Gulf shrimp on salads, and, and uh, turkey club is probably one of my favorite sandwiches. Our special today is dirty rice, a chicken fried steak, and a crawfish gravy. We do a lot of Cajun Creole kind of specials like that. Welcome to the Old Orange Cafe, where down-home Southern and Cajun flavors mingle as seamlessly as all the regular customers. Kelly and I have never set foot in this restaurant to eat lunch that we didn't see several tables of people that we know. Right. It seems like a gathering place. It is. Uh, there's, we have lots and lots of regulars. There's people who have their table, and if their table's set, then they're gonna sit up front and wait for 20 or 30 minutes so that they can sit in Laurie's section or that they can sit in Kelsey's section because that's who they're used to, you know? It's, it's like families. There are few strangers in the Old Orange Cafe, and that includes the portraits on the wall. These are the families who helped establish this community, including David's own. I am fifth generation. Clay bar. So it means a lot. Um, like I said, born and raised here. I left. I was gone for eight years. I, I, I couldn't get here fast enough. I have, um, I have salt in my blood. David moved away for a time to spread his wings, but he returned to the nest after missing the place he grew up. And by then, he had found a profession he loved. When, whenever I went to college, I, I thought I was gonna go into um, nursing and be a flight nurse and do kind of some emergency medicine kind of thing like that. And anyway, it never did. I, I ended up in culinary school. So why do you like cooking and feeding people so much? Because uh, it makes them happy. <laughs> you know? uh, it's, it's instant gratification. You want the avocado on the, on the dinner salad? Some people uh, eat to live and some people live to eat. I'm one that lives to eat, so if you can't tell. But. <laughs> now this local boy cooks for friends and families he's known his whole life. Whether it's the lunch rush or their booming catering business, the Old Orange Cafe has been a part of daily life here for more than 30 years. And for Chef David Claybar, there's nothing better than serving up a warm smile. It's satisfying. It's it's fun. It's a lot. It's it's a lot of work and it's tiring. And a lot of days we're very tired when we lock the door, um, but we're satisfied. We we know that we've done our best, and we know that most everybody left here happy. Mm -hmm.